It's an early Wednesday morning at Pittsco Education, about a week and a half before the Pitt State Homecoming Parade is set to begin. And graphic artist Todd McGeorge is beginning the long process of constructing the company's 2014 float. An annual tradition he feels helps the employees and the business as a whole connect with the community. It's good for us to be visible in the community, and this is one really good way to do it. Harvey has us involved with um, you know, the corporate Olympics and different things, so we're, we're seeing some of the people of the community that way. But then when you go down Broadway on this parade, all of the kids that, that may possibly be using some Pitsco products in the schools locally, hey, I know that place, you know, and, and so it makes a nice connection with the community that way. Measuring at over 21 feet in length, the float is different from years past, focusing overall on the theme of it's a jungle out there, while still bringing back a crowd favorite in the eight-foot-tall robot gorilla, an idea that McGeorge says actually came from a children's toy. This is all modeled off of a little cardboard robot that I found in Kansas City. I was walking by a toy store up there one day. It was in the front window. I immediately went back and bought one. And started scanning in pieces of him to see if I could blow him up. <laughs> he was 20 inches tall, now he's like eight feet. <laughs> and while the robot idea came from a storefront, the overall flow design came straight from the mind of Jason Kellogg, another graphic artist in Pitsco's technology development department. Some of the artwork that Jason had done for the Paint the Town Red Wall looked really good, so I asked him if he, we could use the same thing, and he did the vector work, which converts the artwork from a drawing into something that's scalable. I was just uh, amazingly impressed with what Todd took when I created those illustrations and how Todd was able to take those illustrations and then just apply them and, and use them in a way that just caused the, the float to just be very vibrant and just have a lot of uh, uh, action to it. It, it uh, had a lot of personality, which was uh, really cool. So after weeks of preparation and countless hours of assembling, the float was finally ready for a trip down Broadway. It's satisfying to see it finalized and we got a little bit more time this year because we found out the theme a little earlier and being in the process you're always trying to figure out what the next problem is you need to solve but then one you know you're working along and the next thing you know you think well maybe it's done. I'm hoping that uh, when people see the float that basically it'll just cause excitement I don't know kind of bring that inner child out that's uh, in the adults and the children just be excited to see vibrant uh, dynamic uh, images uh, that hopefully are, are exciting and cool to see as the people are basically uh, seeing the, this float for the first time. <laughs>